I'm Harpreet. As I look back at Singapore's history, I find inspiration from figures like our first Chief Minister, David Marshall, and our late President, Ong Teng Cheong. They showed us courage and what it means to stand up for your beliefs. The legacy they left for us makes me proud to be a Singaporean. I'm Jimmy. I felt proud to be a Singaporean when the Workers' Party won our junior GRC in GE 2011. I envision for more rational, respectable and responsible political parties to be elected into Parliament towards improving Singapore's parliamentary democracy. I'm Nathaniel. Growing up in Singapore is to grow up with people of all races and from all walks of life. We celebrate festivals from other ethnicities. We live with neighbours from other cultures. How we live together peacefully is part of the fabric of our society. Seeing that makes me feel Singaporean. I am Linda. I felt the most Singaporean when I first sang the anthem in primary school because I was doing it with so many people. My name is Ying Ning. For some time, I trained as an engineer overseas. When I'm on the street or in a restaurant, I hear Singlish. When I do, it makes me feel Singaporean. I am Sandy. I'm always proud to share about the vibrant food scene in Singapore. That is my source of pride as a Singaporean. I'm Jen Jong. As a child, I lived in Opera Estate. With my rackety bike, I explored the kampong daily. The country has changed a lot, but that is still my best memory of Singapore. I am Fadli. My best memory of Singapore is attending football matches with my father when I was younger. There was an excitement in the air in the lead up to the match, and you could feel the energy in the crowd. We even had a song for the dream team of the Malaysia Cup days. We will recapture that feeling again. My hope for Singapore is that we'll all be able to recapture the magic of the time of the Malaysia Cup again. I have a daughter now, so I hope to go to such matches with her. For Singaporeans, to have job security here for now and for future to come. Be resilient and innovative, and the community will be able to come together to help one another, just like in this uh, food distribution community that I've been involved in. Let's be patient with each other and that will bring a lot of peace and harmony back to the society. My hope for Singapore is for all Singaporeans to feel a genuine sense of hope for a better future. This National Day, my hope is for more Singaporeans, young and old, to step up and speak out on issues that matter to our country.